Here we are with the third event of the Born Network's Marble Championship Season 5. We have the ever-present balancing. We haven't seen balancing, or we didn't see balancing last season, I should say. The last time balancing was run, it was won by the Flaming Cobras back in Season 3. Can they defend that title? Because there is no Team Watermelon here anymore. If you will remember, Team Watermelon used to be the, the kings of balancing, I should say. So here are some notes, just so you know how it works. If the marbles fall off at the gray line, they get 115 points. If they go beyond the gray line, but they do not hit the yellow blocks, it's 120. If they hit the, if they hit the yellow blocks, it's 130. And if they make the bullseye, which we haven't actually seen yet, it is 150. Let the black markers go and show us how it's done. And this is actually not a bad run at all. Two of them are actually going to stop on the board. That is a tech... Well, that that is a technique. It is uh, it doesn't really help you per se, but I suppose it does give you some style points. A 319 for the black markers to get us started. That is actually a very good benchmark. So I think a lot of the teams are uh, maybe panicking a little bit. As you can tell, woo, Team Mariana, all three of them falling off pretty early. One of them makes it past the gray line. That is going to be 120 for Team Mariana. 265. So if we go by last uh, or previous season's results, that should be probably middle of the pack, but it remains to be seen how the other teams will do, such as the Red Riots, who balance very well out of the gate. Look at the Red Riots! Three of them making it, I think, past 100. Let's have a look at that. Only one of them fell off early, but still. And it's a new record! The Red Riots with a 382 dethroned the Flaming Cobra's record! This early into the event, <laughs> you wonder if we're going to see any more. As we see the Midnight Stars go, they lose two pretty early. So it's not going to be super amazing for them! But look at this! The Midnight Stars! are the first ever team to hit the bullseye. That is very cool. We have never seen that before. And it was perfect. Nothing but net, as you could say. Unfortunately, uh, some of the other marbles were not so great, so they only end up with a 322. Still pretty high, though, and it leaves them second overall. How do the Penguin Patriots do? Not very good, though. I'm going to seesawing on the on the tape there, but it's not going to help them get any more points. 193, ugh. The furthest one, only 69. That's not very nice. Here we go, with the Rosemary's, nearing halfway here. As they do get released. Nice balancing out of the gate, but it starts to come apart for them. Some, uh, some argy-bargy in the middle of that pipe, or, sorry, not pipe, the beam. Sort of helps them get a little bit of distance. So look at that. I wonder. That looked a bit egregious, but who knows. 335, actually. That was a lot better than I thought it. That is second overall for the Rosemary's. All right. Well, never judge a book by its cover, I guess. Ooh, I will judge this one, though. That was very poor from the Ice Chippers. Look at that. Three of them falling off probably before 50 even. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. That 183 helps them a little bit to get just over 200, so at least it's not going to be last. As we now head into the Windbreakers. As they get released, Windbra the Windbreakers don't have the greatest record in balancing, but this is not going to be too bad. They're not quite going to make it to that gray line. But still, as far as the, uh, the Windbreakers history in balancing goes, that was that was a success, I would say. 290. They will sit fifth overall after eight runs. Let's see the current results. The Red Riots with that new record currently hold the lead. Rosemary's and Midnight Stars just behind. It's not looking good for the Penguin Patriots, though. They're going to have to pray for some really bad luck for these teams. Foresters, they get released. They bounce beautifully out of the gate. They were in perfect line. But then it just kind of fell apart for them. One of them makes it to those yellow blocks, though. So that's going to help their score. See, that would, it looks so good out of the game. Oh, and a 351. That is very good. Foresters take second from the Rosemary's. Now the Flaming Cobras. They just had their record beaten 
by the Red Riots. Oh, and this is looking very good. It's looking even better. Look at this. The Flaming Cobras, three of them make it to the end. That's got to be a new record. Yes, it is. The Flaming Cobras reclaim their record with a 430. That is mind-blowing. I think a lot of these teams are going to be pretty, sh pretty shocked from that. Starlights are going to have to follow up a 430. And yeah, you can tell that was uh, the pressure was definitely on there. No way they were they were equaling that. Yeah, you you gotta be a bit uh, a bit annoyed when you're following a team that does that that breaks a record like that because that just makes the nerves even higher if you're the one following right behind them. That was unfortunate for the Starlights, but now the Ultraviolets following right behind them. How are they gonna do? Ooh, it's not amazing, but they did have two get pretty far. If you have one marble make it to that sort of green lego -y block at the end there, you, you know you're going to get at least a decent amount of points. A 98, a 264 total for the Ultraviolets. How about the Berry Blasters? Berry Blasters have had a piss-poor start to the season. Excuse my French. And it's not going to get much better for them here. Consistent, I suppose, but not consistently well. Where is that going to put them? 252. That will put them 11th out of 13. Very Blasters. Wondering if the fluke of bad luck from the last season is or, or is following them. But Team Horizon, they have had a, a very good start to the season, and it's going to be a very good balancing attempt as well. One of them making it to the end. One of them fell very early, though, so that is sort of going to even it out. I can expect maybe just over 300, yes, 309 for Team Horizon. That will put them right in the middle after 14 runs. Team Clarity. Team Clarity, a, uh, I suppose you could say unpredictable team, did very badly in the first event, but then got a gold in the last one, and now are going to do very badly again. So unpredictable for sure. That unpredictability could cost them a title in the future. So a 14th out of 15. That is only going to be a maximum of two points for Team Clarity. But now our last runner to go, the True Blue Crew. How are they going to do? They've been pretty consistent at balancing in their history, but this is not going to go very well. Two of them making it decently far. Is that just about to 90? But that should, shouldn't be any better than middle pack, really. And no, 11th place with a 260 overall. But that means that the Flaming Cobras have claimed gold in balancing. The Red Riots, after breaking that record, may be a little, uh, a little annoyed to, to, uh, to finish second. But they can't deny that that was an amazing run from the Flaming Cobras. Foresters bring home a nice bronze, and that will jump them up to fourth overall as the Flaming Cobras take the lead.